Welcome to week nine of project time management. In week nine, I, we are learning how to resource load a project and how to resource level that project so that we do not have over allocation of resources. I'm going to show you how to do this in MS Project. So if you look at slide four in the week nine slides, you'll see a slide that tells you to create a network diagram based on uh, five different activities and you're given some uh, durations and predecessors. So that's what you're looking at right now on this slide. So I'm, we're going to put this into MS Project. So uh, you might want to have that slide close by you as you try this. So we're going to go to MS Project now. We're going to enter those activities, durations and predecessors into MS Project. This is a new project. And we have uh, task A, which is assign bids. We have task B, which is document awards. Task C is calculate costs. Task D is select winning bids. And task E is develop PR campaign. So there we have uh, the five tasks and we're given durations. So the first task is five days, five days, five days, uh, one day, and four days. And then we're also given predecessors. So we're told that A doesn't have any predecessors. B has activity uh, task B, or uh, in this case it's activity one. So we can put that in there. 1. C has A as well, which is activity 1. Uh, D has B and C, so if you can remember there's another way we can enter this. We can click on the task, go to predecessors, and task D has B and C, so we will pick B and we will pick C and E has um, activity D, which is in our case task 4. So there we go. We have um, all the durations, activities, and predecessors entered. So that's great. But we're also told that we have people assigned to do these tasks. So let's go to our resource sheet and we can put our different people that are working on it. So we have Tom. Jeff, Sue, and Carol. So those are the four people that are working on the project. So let's go back to our Gantt chart and let's assign these people to these tasks. So activity A, I'm going to double click on it, and activity A has Tom. So let's go to the resource tab and let's look for Tom. Okay, so there's Tom. Activity B has Jeff, so let's assign Jeff. Okay. Task C has Jeff as well. Task D has Sue. We'll assign Sue. And task E has Carol. Okay, that's great. We have all the people assigned to our um, project. Now, let's go back to our resource sheet. And one thing you have to be careful of is See this maximum column? We have 100% for Tom, 
100% for Jeff, 100% for Sue and Carol. That means they're available 100% of the time. And Microsoft Project defaults to um, a standard calendar of 40 hours a week or 8 hours a day. So what that is saying is Tom is available 8 hours a day, 5 days a week. Same with Jeff, Sue and Carol. And that's what you have to do on your deck project, but remember your supervisor is only available 50% and laborer 1 is available 100% and laborer 2 is available 100%. So you need to put those three resources in your deck project. So as you can see, Jeff is red. We have a concern here. So going back to the Gantt chart view, we see um, this red person here. It's saying this task is over allocated. Um, so this is a concern. Um, as we can see, Jeff is only available eight hours a day, five days a week, but right now we have him working much more than that. Um, we have him do, working uh, two tasks at eight hours a day. So if you go to your resource sheet, or sorry, your resource usage view, you can see Jeff we have him assigned working 16 hours a day and he's only available 8 hours a day. So this is uh, highlighting a problem. In the Gantt chart view everything looks great except that Jeff has to be uh, two places at once, doing two things at once. So this is a concern. So we have to think about uh, what can we do about this. Um, we, let's look at a different view. Let's look at the network diagram view and you can see again there's Jeff doing two things at once. Uh, so this is, a, this is a concern. One thing we can do is we could maybe add another person, uh, another resource, so to free Jeff up. So let's look at that. Let's go to our resource sheet and let's add Bob and we'll have that Bob is a ha available 100% of the time. Go back to your Gantt chart and it, let's instead of Jeff doing the calculating costs let's have Bob do it. Okay so that's taking care of our over allocation. As you can see the little red guy indicating over allocation is gone. If you go into the resource usage view you can see we don't have any red anymore. Jeff's just needed eight hours a day and now we have Bob. So that's one thing we can do. Um, another thing we can do is going back to the Gantt chart view is as we can see um, we have Jeff and Bob but say we don't have Bob so let's get rid of Bob. Delete him. Okay. And so we, if we put Jeff back, he's going to be over allocated. And another thing is we could do is maybe Tom or Sue or Carol could do this other activity. So we're going to reassign it to an existing resource. Okay, because as far as we know, um, Carol's sitting there doing nothing, and she's qualified to do that. So we, that's another thing we could do is we could reassign the task. So we could. The first thing we looked at was um, adding an, an additional resource and having them doing it. The second thing we looked at doing was uh, reassigning it to an existing resource of somebody who's not doing anything. Um, let's put this back to Jeff. Okay, And we have our problem back again. So another thing we could do is we could have MS Project um, work out this over allocation. So one thing we could do is if you go to resources, the resource tab, you can see up at the top we have level selection, level resource, level all. So we could click this button and MS Project will level it for us. So let's try that. Okay. So MS Project has leveled it for us. So they pushed Jeff out here. Um, but one thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to auto schedule it so that everything works out. Okay, so we've had Microsoft Project move things around and then I've auto scheduled it after. So as you can see, they've moved the task out. Microsoft Project has done it. Before you allow Microsoft Project to 
um, resource level it for you, you want to try and manually doing it, do it wherever possible. So for your deck project, I would look wherever possible, wherever you have over allocations, any red, uh, look to see if you could uh, reassign the task. So maybe laborer one is over allocated, but laborer two is under allocated. So you could reassign the task. Or same with supervisor, maybe they're over allocated and you could reassign the task to a laborer. So always look at doing things manually and figure everything out before um, having Microsoft Project um, level it for you. So hopefully this has helped you. Um, for your project and hopefully you'll be able to load your uh, deck project and resource level it.